I'm at Hazelby Bryan. Um, well, I think it's actually one of the hamlets connected to Hazelby Bryan, uh, and it's called Droop. Now, um, this is obviously the church. And I'm about a mile outside where, what you would think of as Hazelby Bryan. Um, I've never been out here before, but it's a fantastic picture. If I had a wide angle, it'd be even better. Um, these houses on the left appear to be Elms houses for the poor, um, restored in 1939. It's a big plaque on the end of the wall there, on the gable end. And uh, behind me is a school. So there's the school. Unusual, it's all done out in white and blue. It's a bit like something from near the seaside. This affair here at the gate is called a lynch gate. Um, they're not very important nowadays, but years gone by it must have been quite important. Some meeting place, somewhere to get shelter, possibly even spend the night if you're a traveller. There's a huge travelling um, tradition in this area, and we see quite a lot of uh, people were with horse and carts, presumably taking sort of, sort of holidays. Um, and of course a lynch gate is very good for wedding photographs. I think there might be some swallows in, uh, nesting up in it. I'll go, I'll go and have a look. The, um, the droppings on the floor there. So it looks to me like there might be a swallow in there. Or something. But um, also, the middle there that thing is made up, made up of a huge um, grindstone, millstone. It's a huge millstone. Massive. That's big mill. Ah, there's the uh, swallow's nest up there. Right on top of the light. I've just uh, met the man who locks the church and he tells me that these are no longer for the poor, these houses, because what happened in the UK is the uh, all the finances of the church got taken over by the church commissioners. So anything like this had to be sold. So as many assets as possible were sold by the church. So there, there was three Elms houses there, but now they're this private, I don't know if it's one house or, or two. Nice place, so. Um, and I've just had a tour of the church and it's fantastic, it's lovely. It's really um, cool inside and the patron is a very rich person. So there's an awful lot of money being spent on the uh, restoration of the place, um, you know, years ago. and. Uh, and it's been restored in a lovely fashion and the windows are clear uh, which really means that they were knocked out during the Reformation the stained glass because the reformers didn't like the idea of stained glass and pictures and images they wanted to um, uh, they, they wanted uh, well I don't know they just wanted things plain but there's a bit of old glass in the top but the clear glass makes it feel nice and light in there these will be the ashes plot so people get their ashes buried in the churchyard rather than their body and there's some and although the church is uh, sort of looks like it heavily restored in the Victorian period, it's still got a lot of the old stonework bits and pieces inside. So he's locked up now. I'll do a part two to this video when um, when the church is open. So lovely. This is the heart of Lincolnshire. I mean. In the guide to Hazelby Bryan, they say it's 
Thomas Hardy country. And there's five villages connected to um, connected to Hazelby Bryan. And it's all to do with uh, Thomas Hardy. But Thomas Hardy was only um, sort of fairly recent. He was he was write, writing about an era gone by. So he he wasn't writing he wasn't writing about his contemporary age. He was talking he was talking about um, a previous age. So uh, yeah, Thomas Hardy doesn't define everything. Some lovely views around here, and the air is very clear just at the moment. Um, there's some money about here though. Some big places about. It's dead quiet. This is a horse field. These are horse jumps. So I say there's some money about here. That's um, Bull Barrow up there. This is where I've just come out of. And it says Church of St Mary and St James. Disabled access. Keep clear at all times. Well, about 20 years ago in the UK, they had this big thing, sort of equality for disabled people. So all public buildings had to have disabled access. But, I mean, it was a farce, really. I mean, that lynch gate's got steps, so, you know, disabled can't get up there. So you need ramps and things. But, I mean, a lot of historic buildings aren't suitable to be adapted to for disabled people. Anyway, I think I've uh, done about enough here. Coming back up these alms houses here. The poor. Got a 2013 um, Mercedes SLK. This could be in the hidden parts of Dorset, this could be. Church cottage. Oh well. Nice. Bye for now.